and uh, to share the hell, to have fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Number one, you must share your knowledge with the Holy Spirit together. The knowledge, not worldly knowledge, not sense knowledge, about revelation knowledge, the Word of God from Genesis to the Revelation. And we should study the Word of God, and through those words, you enter the Holy Spirit fellowship. The Holy Spirit will never have a fellowship when you watch the game on the television. Worldly drama. I do never say that, dear Holy Spirit, let us enjoy the worldly drama. <laughs> no use. <laughs> but when you read the Bible, you can have real fellowship in the knowledge of God. Revelation knowledge is what you need. The Holy Spirit can only have fellowship with you through the knowledge. And when you have deep knowledge about the Word of God, then you have free access with the Holy Spirit. And the center of the knowledge is again the fivefold blessings and threefold salvation. When I work together with the Holy Spirit, always my faith and message is founded upon this redemption of Jesus Christ. All the Bible has no power without coming through the cross of Jesus Christ. So the Holy Spirit always works through me, showing the cross of Jesus Christ, salvation through Jesus, sanctification through Jesus, healing by his stripe, and redemption from curse by Jesus Christ, and eternal life through Jesus Christ. And the knowledge about those things are well taught by the Holy Spirit. You can have fellowship with him in the, on, the, on those places. And whenever I preach this redemption of Jesus Christ, I feel the power of the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit fellowshipping with me together. And number two, the Holy Spirit always have fellowship with you together through the visions and dreams. Bible says when vision, the Holy Spirit comes, he gives vision to the young and dream to the old. If you don't have visions and dreams, you can't say that the Holy Spirit is with you because Holy Spirit is bound to give you visions and dreams. He is not just present with you without doing anything. He is going to give you the visions and dreams. Church without visions and dreams of mission, social work, and those kind of things, the Holy Spirit never, never fellowship with you. I started church, the Holy Spirit was with me and he has helped to carry out this work because God gave me the vision. When I first come out to this sandbar here in Yeido Island, many people say that I was choosing a very wrong decision because there were no traffic, no water, system, no electricity, nothing. But when I prayed, the Holy Spirit said, go, build your church there. Your church would be the, the center of the city. Right now, capital building of the National Congress is right in, in front of our church. Cameramen, when they try to take, take picture, they always include our church. And the Spirit of the Lord gave me the picture of this church. First, I wanted to build a church with 10,000 seat. And all the constructors come, and this is in Korea, with Korean constructors' experience, we can't build that kind of church. They said, we can only build a church which seat about 5,000 at the most. So I tried to persuade them, but 
they would not accept my persuasion. They said, we have no technique. Then finally I said, you please plant the church of 10,000, but practically right now seeding with 5,000, so that later when your technique progress, we will enlarge our church. So actually, first when I finished this church, we were seeding only 5,000. But as the uh, technique progressed, we enlarged. So finally, we are seeding 10,000 people. And <laughs> God, when you are staying with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit keep on giving you the visions and dream. Then the Holy Spirit says, go and start prayer mountain. I said, prayer mountain? Why we can pray here in church? Why should go to the prayer mountain? But it says, many a times people need to leave the home and church and go to the mountain, lonely place, and pray there. So I went to the Osanli and bought, purchased the land. And I asked the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, what kind of church should I build? Now you really should plan to build a church with 10,000 seats here in the mountain. I said, here in the mountain? The Holy Spirit, you make mistake. <laughs> this is a mountain and this, this church will be empty. The Spirit says, you are human beings, I'm God. Open your mouth wide, not small mouth. Open your mouth wide. So I built a prayer mountain and church there with seat with 10,000 people. And after that, I said, this is finished now. It's too much headache. It's a raising fund and plant church. It's just too much trouble. And I'm getting old, so I want to have more peace and joy in my life. Then the Holy Spirit says, a man in church without vision dreams is Holy Spirit less church. If you don't receive my visions and dream, I can't dwell with you. My place to dwell in you is through your visions and dream. Then so what is next? They build a technical school for the poor young people, Elim Technical School. Technical school, yeah. You build technical school and bring many young people from Philippines, Indonesia, and other parts of the world, third world, young people who could not study, give them the training. So God showed me the plan, and I started a technical school, and young people are brought from our country and other parts of the world, and they are receiving training machinery, cooking, massage, aerobics, everything. So young people receive their training and get a job here in Korea and other part of the world. Then I said, this is end, this is finished. God says, no, this is not end, finished. Start university. <laughs> university. I myself do not start in university. But Spirit said, you didn't study in university, but your wife studied at the best university in Korea. So build the university and give responsibility to your wife. She will manage. So once again, I planned the university, and I built the university and made my wife as president. And she has been managing school so excellently that our university is a wonderful school now. Then I was very happy, and I said, this is all that I have done. Then God said, no, you must build 500 churches around Seoul City. 
No, more than 500, 5,000 churches. So again, I began to plan, dream. Everything starts from dream. When you dream, dream is very unrealistic. What you, you dream, which is possible in your human beings, then that is no more dream. Dream is far beyond, beyond, beyond your own dreaming. When I was in a party during Christmas time, missionaries all get together and we had a wonderful party. And the missionary asked me a question, Joe, what are you going to do? I said, I want to build the largest church in the world and I want to go end of, to the end of the world to preach gospel like a Billy Graham. As Billy Graham preached gospel without healing, but I want to bring gospel with healing like Oral Robert. And the missionaries all laughed and said, you are dreaming. I said, yes, this is my dream. <laughs> and they said, you can never fulfill that dream. That's too big for you. That, since that is too big, that is dream. It's small, it is no more dream. <laughs> and every part of my dream ha have been fulfilled. So, I started church and I, right now in downtown Seoul city, I have built 20 churches which have more than 10,000 Christians each. <clears throat> Throughout Korea, God has helped me to start 3,000 churches. And God helped me to send 700 missionaries around the world. <clears throat> then God said, you must help poor, heart-sick children in third world. Bring them to Korea and give them the operation of the heart free of charge. I said, free of charge? I don't have that much money bringing them and their parents by airplane to Korea and put them in a hotel and get them receive heart operation that take a tremendous amount of money. And in my experience, always Holy Spirit says, don't count money. You are on the wilderness. You are like a Philip, always count money. When there are 5,000 men and plus women, when I try to feed those people, people will be counted all by computer. It's, Lord, we can't feed them. They are too many. We have no place to feed them. We have, don't have money. But Andrew was a little IQ lacking man. He came with the two bread, five breads and two fish as a seed, seed faith. Because Andrew saw Jesus instead of wilderness. And Andrew counted Jesus. And through Jesus, when he saw the wilderness and the multitude, he could believe that they could be fed by the miracle of Jesus Christ. Andrew was a dreamer. Philip was a calculator. <laughs> and I always turn into calculator. When Jesus Christ gave me visions and dream, I calculate. And I, I always have sleep last night. I couldn't sleep. Well, how can I do, how can I do? Then the finally spirit said, don't calculate. See Jesus in the wilderness and give the seed money and believe miracle. I assure you that when you have visions and dream, then don't calculate. You don't calculate, you ask, you'll be scared to death. <laughs> and you'll give up. But you should plus accept Jesus as a plus factor and put the seed money and believe miracles. 
So, so far, I have brought 4,000 children and give them a free operation of heart. When I think of for those 4,000 children, even now, I become dizzy because I can't calculate all of those expenses. But Jesus has done that. The Holy Spirit with me together believed Jesus and Jesus performed the miracle. Then, brothers and sisters, I surely thought that my work was finished. Then the Holy Spirit says, start news, daily newspaper. Because church should rise up and change the world by the newspaper. And many churches are very, very slow to change the world. But through the newspaper, you can change the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. So when I discussed with a specialist, once again, I began to calculate. I discussed with a specialist about newspaper. He shook his head. He said, you know, you need not only millions of dollars. When you start as a foundation money, you need billions of dollars. You cannot get that kind of money from your offering. Give up. You will be in trouble. So I prayed. I said, Heavenly Father, I will be in trouble if I try to start newspaper. The specialists say that I can't raise up hundreds of thousands millions of dollars. When you try to calculate and argue with God, God stopped talking to you. Nothing happened in my heart. I was really depressed. Then the Holy Spirit says, don't calculate. Open your mouth wide. I will feel it. So I started newspaper. I tell you, it was very, very hard job. Very, very hard job. Building, build the headquarters of newspaper and bringing all those printing machines and hiring hundreds of the pressmen. It was dizzy. But the Holy Spirit helped me, and now we have a leading, one of the leading newspapers in Korea, powerful media. This is Power Dispenser Ministries, a ministry that recognizes and promotes the message of God's power, God's kingdom. Good news of the Lord Jesus, preached by anointed men of God, dispensing the power that brings salvation, success, and victory in Christ Jesus.